in part one of my Bob Ross reboot. Let's start out with some happy little dreams. I painted a Rhodesian FAL, and in this episode we're going to weather the rifle. It's just way too shiny and perfect, and the last thing we want is a showroom gun. The FAL saw more combat in the Bush War than any other conflict, and I want to replicate some of that. I'm not going to go too over the board and make this rifle look like it has a 50-year-old paint job. I'm more interested in how this rifle would have looked at the time of the conflict. But first, I've got to get this dust cover off that's basically been glued down with paint. This problem looked like a nail, so I solved it accordingly. And hey, if hammers are among your favorite problem solvers, hit that like button. Although, don't do it with a hammer, please. Now, the dust cover was a little loose to begin with and would rattle from front to back. I even considered buying a new dust cover to fix this, but I'm glad I didn't. The paint fixed it. I did clean up the sides so it would slide more smoothly, but I left the extra paint in the front and rear so it wouldn't rattle so much, and it worked. With that out of the way, it was time to experiment by distressing the magazine. This was also an opportunity to fix a mistake. The side of the magazine that faces forward in the gun is almost completely yellow, making it stand out. And by weathering it, I was able to break up that straight yellow line so the camouflage works a little better. The Arizona Response Systems kit came with two scotch pads, but I found them to not be gritty enough for the spots where I had laid down some thick paint. The sandy disc was an arm's reach away, and the trash can helped break through it. With the sanding process leaving a fine yellow and blue-green dust over everything, it's difficult to see your progress. The white cloths you'll see me use are Remington oil wipes. And something I learned is you really have to go over every inch of the paint. When I miss getting in those grooves of the magazine, that pristine paint really stood out. And although that paint would have received less wear under real-world conditions, it was obvious that it needed to be touched upon. Moving on to the rifle, it was important to get the high wear areas correct. For the stock, that was mostly the sling swivel and the spot where my cheek would have rubbed. The actual rubber butt of the stock would have also been a very high wear area, but I didn't paint it to begin with, knowing I would have taken all that paint off anyway. There is a spot on the lower receiver above the pistol grip that is another high wear area. I know this because this rifle started off as an inbell parts kit. These were carried a lot and shot very little, and I took pictures of all the spots on the rifle that had the paint and finish worn away. So when it came time to do this weathering, I knew exactly what needed the distressing. I had planned on painting a rack number on the stock, but at the last minute I decided the paint I had available wasn't adequate. The Arizona Response Systems kit doesn't include paint for that, so it's no fault on them. Um, this is always something I can come back and do later on, so I'm not worried about it. Weathering the rifle is a lot of fun. I ended up with over an hour's worth of footage for this video, but I edited it down quite a bit. But to be honest, a lot of that time was spent unsticking the charging handle, which you'll see later on. My next video will be a trip to the gun range with the FAL and a test of the baby poop camouflageability. I'll be putting it in different backdrops and lighting conditions, as well as comparing it to the AK-47, which it went up against in the Bush War. So consider subscribing and be on the lookout for that. Now, for the rest of the video, I'll leave you with some really great Rhodesian folk music to listen to. Enjoy. The story of Rhodesia, a land both fair and great. On the 11th of November, an independent state. This was much against the wishes of certain governments, whose leaders tried to break us down and make us all repent. But we're all Rhodesians, and we'll fight through thick and thin. We'll keep our land a free land, stop the enemy coming in. We'll keep them north of us and easy to let rivers running dry. And this mighty land will prosper for Rhodesians never die. They can 
send their men to murder, and they can shout their words of hate. At the cost of keeping this land free can never be too great. For our men and boys are fighting for the things that they hold dear. And this land and all its people will never disappear. Cause we're all religions and we'll fight to pick and thin. We'll keep our land a free land, stop the enemy coming in. We'll keep them north of us and easy till that river's running dry. This little nation for our children's children too. Once you're a Rhodesian, no other land will do. We will stand tall in the sunshine with the truth upon our side. And if we have to go alone, we'll go alone with pride. Cause we're all Rhodesians and we'll fight through thick and thin. We'll keep our land the free lands of the enemy coming in. We'll keep them north of us and easy to let rivers running dry. And this mighty land will prosper for regions never die. Yes, we're all regions and we'll fight through thick and thin. We'll keep our land the free lands of the enemy coming in. We'll keep them north of us and easy to let rivers running dry. And this mighty land will prosper for religions never die. What a time it was, with so few friends to turn to. What a time it was, when all we did seemed wrong. We'd broken all our bonds and the battle plan was drawn. What a time, what a time it was. 1965, the year of UDI. Who'd have thought the country would survive or stay alive? The UN made us outcasts. And the British said we couldn't last, that we would fall when the oil did not arrive. Now I don't say we were right, and I don't say we were wrong. I'm just trying to tell it like it was in simple song. You see, when people love their homeland, they regard it as their own land, and they fight whether they're right or they are wrong. What a time it was, with all the world against us, what a time it was, not all we did was wrong, we'd broken all our bonds, but life kept going on, what a time, what a time it was, 1966, saw some ocean politics, when two men climbed a tiger to have talks about the talks. They talked and talked and talked and talked and talked and talked some more. The negotiations ended in deadlock. And in 1968, there was another great debate. This time aboard the fearless, but the end was much the same. November saw a new flag raised while the people prayed for...